Howdy. My name is Nonat, and today I'll be explaining the simple hero point system in Pathfinder 2nd Edition. Hero points are a system that was in Pathfinder 1st Edition and still exists today in Pathfinder 2nd Edition. Back in 1st Edition, hero points were incredibly powerful. They allowed ridiculous bonuses such as taking a free action at any point in the initiative, casting a spell you've already cast that day, or adding plus 8 to your next d20 roll. These points, due to their power, were given out sparingly, typically only one per character level up. In Pathfinder 2nd Edition, the power of these hero points has been heavily toned down, though because of the lower power, the GM can more freely give them to players without worrying about the balance of the game being grossly tilted in their favor. Hero points in 2nd Edition are given out at the start of every session. All players begin with one hero point and can earn more throughout the game. These hero points must be spent during the same session they are earned, otherwise they are lost and cannot be regained. The 2e hero point only has two unique uses. The first is the ability to re-roll any d20. When this ability is used, the player must use the new result and cannot use this ability twice on the same roll. The second use of hero points is a bit more interesting and can only be used while your character has the dying condition. When your character is dying, you can spend one hero point to instantly stabilize yourself. Doing so completely negates the wounded condition you would have gained from normal stabilization, or, if you were already wounded, prevents the wounded status from worsening. It's important to note that you stabilize at zero hit points, but you do not get back up. Thus, spending your hero point won't put you back into the fight, but will prevent you from dying. What I really like about the hero point system is the roleplay aspect that the rulebook pushes. Especially when avoiding death, the book recommends the player explain exactly what is allowing them to push beyond their limits. Whether it be some duty that the character has yet to accomplish, or a person they simply have to live so they can see again. This hero point represents their pure will to live. These moments allow for great character depth and potentially even backstory creation that may have not even existed before that point. And that's about it. I hope I explained the 2e hero point system in a clear and concise way for you. Apologies for the short video, I know I was supposed to have the monk guide ready for today, but unfortunately the video has been delayed. Monks are way more complex at level 1 than I first thought. Fun fact, they have more starting feats than fighters. Honestly, that level 1 video for monks is probably going to be about 15 minutes long, so I got some work to do. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, consider subscribing and ring the bell to know exactly when the next video goes live. I want to give a huge shout out to my patrons, which I forgot to do last video, don't tell them. Major shout outs to Trevor, aka The Conqueror, Quidthulu, Troy Hughes, and Paul Rand as well as all of my other amazing new patrons. You guys are incredible, and your support helps out even more than you know. Be sure to check out the description for links to our community Discord, where we chat about all things tabletop, as well as my Patreon, which I mentioned before. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, no nat ones.